hello guys welcome to the final class of the microsoft excel foundation and today we'll be looking at printing and worksheet protection in microsoft excel so we have this data here that we want to see how we can print and it's of no use working on excel if you're not going to print although not all excel projects or spreadsheets are meant to be printed but then if you have something that you want to print it's also good you know how to print it all right so you can print using the ctrl p keyboard the ctrl keyboard uh, shortcut or simply go into file and go to print here and then select your printer ensure that all these details are correct select your number of pages you're printing how many copies you want to print are you printing all pages or you're going to select like from one to something portrait orientation or landscape orientation all right then margins are you using normal margin or a wide margin with the can see you can see how it's illustrated here or using a very narrow margin right so there are different conditions when you want to change margins are you going to scale everything currently we can see that we have four pages to be printed here page one of four second page third page fourth page but well, these are not all the things we want to print we're only interested in the data not we're not interested in this we are not interested in this these are just for illustrative purposes. we are just interested in these first two so we're going to be seeing how we can print all this let's go back so if we go to page layout you can see that we can set up our document in a way that enables us to print and so we saw initially that this this was appearing in our printed document in our document in our print preview so what we want to do is to exclude it and we can do that by setting our print area we want to select that these are the areas that we want to set for print we we'll highlight it and then we'll come here and then go back here under page layout the print area and set set print area it means every other thing that is not this will not be printed all right so size you can change your paper size but by default we have letter and this corresponds to what the kind of paper we mainly use in printing you can want to try a3 and so on then see how it looks like then um what else let's preview this print area that we've set up go here go back to print and then we can see that we just have page one of two now so no more page one of four and again we see that on this last part where we have no scaling we can actually bring everything into one page and shrink all rows into one page so we just have page one of one but this is going to make your font printed font very small so we don't want that so we're going to leave it as it was and then um you notice that there are no grid lines there are no border lines here that's because in excel these lines are just for your reference purposes are just for your guidance rather in printing they don't appear what you can do to make them appear you can either manually add, add a border to what you want to print you can manually come here and set a border uh, under here under your home and set a border all borders and when you go back to print you're going to see the border appear you can do this or you can remove the borders and then go back to your page layout under the grid lines you can select you can tick the print what it means that the grid lines will appear not just in the views but also in the print so if you go back to file and go to print you will notice that you can print with the borders now even though the borders even though the borders do not have uh what's it called even though the view doesn't really have the the tick lines but you can also preview it also in your print also finally ensure that the print tiles is enabled print tiles enable you to print rows and columns these particular rows here if you want this row to appear these headers to appear in page two as well because um, i already set this up so that's why you are going to see it if i go to my print you notice that on my page one i have a bouncing stock manager and the header on my page two i also have it repeat here but by default it is not set so you may you want to do that from print tiles from print tiles ensure that the rows to repeat are set to the, the if it's just this upper row you want to repeat i don't want to repeat the second row ensure it is set okay so i, I can manually edit this now to ensure that I don't want to show this about stock manager again i want to show it on the first page but from the second page i want to just show the column headers which is the product size so here now i'm going to just remove column two 
I'll remove sorry row two and just leave row three. All right, so I'm gonna just do this. So all I want to show is row three, and I'll do print preview. And is there an error somewhere? Uh, three of three. All right, I think that's it. Three of three. All right, I print preview. I s you can see I can see the normal one in the first, but in the second one I just see the product size and so on. So that's what you can do with um, print tiles. You can set a background if you want a picture background that appears at the background when you print. And then what else? Uh, what else have we not talked about here? All right, so that's it basically. And let's go and view again our print. So we can see that it is tilted towards one side. Let's see if we can see how to push it a little bit and fill up this document so that it doesn't appear awkward like this. And um, how to do that? We can go to view and select page layout or come down here and click on page layout. So this gives us a little bit similar to what we may get at the end of the day. So from here now we can see the part that how this document appear in the print preview from here. Then we can also see that this are, these are the parts that are in, in uh, page 2. Then we, we only want to resize this so we it's it's a little bit uh, even on the page. Uh, this may not be the best way to do this uh, but uh, this is how I do this myself. All right. So if you know a better way you can suggest in the comments below so that we can uh, also improve on our knowledge as well. So now I've manually centered this. So uh, I go back to normal view. If I go to my print preview, it's a little bit centered on the page, All right? So I can go ahead and click on print now and then print out my document. All right, so that's how, how to print. Now I want to show you quickly um, how to, um, sorry. So I want to show you how to protect your sheets. So protecting sheet ensures that people don't alter your cells or alter your values in your columns or your cells anyhow. This is useful when you are building for enterprises, you are building for businesses and you want them not to alter your formula your formula uh, cells. All right, so I can uh, protect this sheet now such that users can select a particular, can change values such as shoes but cannot change the price or maybe they can change price but they cannot change the header, they can't change this name they can't change these values here all right so we can do that how to do that uh, first we are going to unlock all the cells by default excel cells are locked so how to check select all here go to your home click on this little arrow here then go to protection you notice that they are locked all the cells are locked so we unlock it so the idea is to allow people to select all the unlocked cells so that's why we unlocked it and then deny them access to the locked cells so these ones we are going to lock uh well we want, we want them to be able to select price uh okay we don't want them to be able to change the size so let's highlight the sizes we don't want them to be able to change the sizes we'll highlight the sizes all right we'll highlight the sizes and then we are going to go back there to protection and lock the sizes then we don't want them to be able to change the title and these two, this in the second row and the third row, we'll go back there as well. Highlight and go back there and lock it as well. All right. Now, if you notice, I still click around. You're able to still change these values if you want. You can still change them until. Next thing I need to do is to go to the review tab, protect sheet. Now I'm going to set a password. All right. I'm going to set a password. So what I want users to be able to do is to only select unlock cells. I don't want them to be able to select lock cells. So I'm going to ensure that this one is not ticked. So if you tick it, it means that they're going to select locked cells. But I don't want them to be able to select the locked cells. I want them to be able to select only the unlock cells. So the ones that are ticked are what they are going to be able to do. So all these ones now they can't perform all these actions once this sheet is protected. So I'm going to enter a password here. I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to enter that password again and click OK. OK, so now notice that I can click around here, but I can't click here. I can click here, but I can't click the title. I can't click this one. So 
this has prevented the users now or prevented once the password is protected and the sheet is protected you can see now that you can only select what you are giving access to and you can select these other parts so to unprotect sheet simply go back and enter in your password and then you have access to everything as usual all right well, protect workbook allows you to protect your workbooks all the sheets in your workbook so that users can delete them or be able to create or add new uh sheets all right so protect workbooks if you have if you hover over it you see that it keeps others from making structural changes to your workbook such as moving deleting so they are not able to add or move around or delete or do whatever they want to do all right so you go back here enter in a password we don't want them to be able to touch the structure we enter in the password as well here all right but note this does not prevent users from opening the sheet they can open the sheet they can see they can as well if you enable just this without enable this they can play with your any cell you want them not to play with but then what they will be able to do because this password is on now is that they cannot create they can create a new sheet here they can move around they can rename you know they can view they can view they can view right they can view and so on but they cannot rename they can delete until they unprotect it and by entering that password all right so now they can create a new sheet if they want you know they can create a new sheet they can delete the sheet if they don't want and stuff like that all right so that's about all ah <sighs> so we have come to the end of our foundation class and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave it behind in the comment sections. I want to hear your thoughts and how you feel about the uh, lectures from the very first class to the 12th class that we've had in this series. Our Excel advanced class will be starting very soon and I want you to subscribe. And I'll be making a video, an intro video on how to subscribe and what you're going to learn out of the advanced class. And please do not forget to share these videos that we make with your friends and your contacts. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.